And now we're in chapter 5. Yesterday's Scenery. Weird name for a chapter. But fitting, I suppose. Ning. Morning. Please don't tell me the inn's gonna lag the game again. Time to wake up. The sun is out. It's at 80% speed. Come now. That's it. 77. I don't know why the inn does this. It's only the inn. You must be exhausted. Rest a while longer. Oh my goodness. You like. It's a little glitchy I sounding, but at least you can understand it now. I was shocked to hear you intend to deal with those scoundrels who set fire to the town. I don't know why the inn does this. We're counting on you, though. If there's anything I can do to help, just say the word. Ninety-two percent uh, speed, eighty. Uh, Inkeep. Seventy-eight. Who are these scoundrels who set the town on fire? Yeah, it's a bit slow. Why does it do this? Hmm. <laughs> You must be still half asleep. Yeah, it's a little bit glitchy sounding in its slowness. I don't know why it the does this. Of the Eternian sky, of course. A cruel lot, to be sure. The Knights of the Eternian sky? Are they back? Back? <laughs> back? Well, anyway, <laughs> you've got the whole town behind you. Uh, right. Oh, how is Egil doing? Egil? Who might that be? It's <laughs> huh? a good point there. Uh, I left a pot on the fire. I'll let you get some more rest. I need to exit this in as fast as I can. It's lagging the game so hard. I guess I was dreaming. No, let's please take the conversation outside. The innkeep's care. Awakening the four crystals. <laughs> Led by Airy to the holy pillar. It's so slow. The airship rocking violently. Why does it do this? It's at 75% speed. Alternus dim. That was no dream! Indeed. I still have blisters from... Look at Ares' wings, by the way. ...as the airship shook. Then why are we here? This is Caldisla, right? It's a bit right? different than before. We were at the Holy Pillar! What happened to us, Ari? Did we seal the Great Chasm? Is that the number four I see? I, um, sorry. I don't really know. What? Please take the conversation outside. Oh, come on. Are they up yet, Father? Oh, it's you, Owen. Yes, they're all awake now. Good. I wish I could go along with them. You've got to stay here and protect the king. Stay alert now. I'll see you later. <laughs> hmm. That was Owen. How can that be? Oh my. Perhaps we are dreaming. Wait, uh, let me get this straight. Really slowly. Who could have set the town on fire? Black Mage Ominous Crow. It doesn't seem likely the Knights of the Eternian Sky have come back to attack it again. If Owen is here, I think it could be that Black Mage, Ominous. 
So we must be remembering what happened back then in a dream. That makes sense. But I wasn't with you here when this took place. I was serving under Ominous Crow, remember? Huh. You're right. I have no idea what is going on. We're still in the end, the speed's still awful. Uh, 80% speed. <gasps> the sea! It is still tainted. What? But we awakened the water crystal. Something is wrong. Let's split up and get to the bottom of this. Please leave the inn. Please let me go. Tiz is now the only one in the party. Let me out, let me out, let me out. Uh, <laughs> in the heck out. Oh, full speed again. Now we can listen to the music at a normal speed. So yeah, Dark Mage, Alternus Dim. Looks and sounds exactly like ring -a -bell and has the exact same journal. And we're seemingly in a new world where none of what we did ever happened. What could be happening? Why you? Do I talk to the king maybe? Is that what I'm supposed to do? Ah, it is good of you to come. Yeah, I've played it before. I have heard that you intend to deal with this black mage that set the town alight. I would know. You are a young man of spirit indeed. I saw that in you from the time you drove off that airship. <laughs> that guy was ring about? No. That this must fall upon oh. you. Our forces will be ready to redeploy soon. <laughs> Until then, we can do naught but wait. You and the wind, Vestal, are our last ray of hope. Sorry, oops. <laughs> oops. I guess I guess I forgot to hit the hockey to unmute it. Oops. Oopsie doopsie. Uh I'm okay. Everything's A-OK -okay now. Audio levels are being weird sometimes. It's not gonna be new spells, is there? I don't think. Yeah, I didn't think so. Uh, do I have to talk to my party members? Anya said she was leaving on a short errand. Maybe she went to see the Great Chasm. Oh, do I have to go to the Great Chasm? How do I even do that? Oh, I have to go, like, way out of town for that, then. Is what I have to do. If that's the case. Ring a bell somewhere around here? There's Ring a bell. Anya's left town just a moment to go. Off to see the Great Chasm, perhaps. Okay, so they're just telling me to go to the Great Chasm then. Fell your old one was too childish and weird. Especially what you're known for and haunted the Twitch and IRL nickname. Makes sense then. Set my more short and simple. Whoa. Yeah, we're back on our on the overroll again. Slight lag spike as it loads the area. I love going to the left and diagonally. It doesn't slow down. Is this a shortcut or is this nothing? It's gonna be nothing. Watch. Dang it! Not like this. 
Not like this, man. Want to become a Smash YouTuber and that's what you've been for months, so yeah, yeah, that makes more sense then. Quick and to the point with that. Off we go. Let's talk to the adventurer real quick. That's a save. Where are we? No. So much for fixing the great chasm that destroyed Tiz's town. So you came too, Onyes. Yes. What on earth is happening, Eri? We unleashed the Holy Pillar's light across the world. The great chasm should be gone, but here it is. Ah, uh, I'm not too sure myself. But take a look at this. <gasps> The four points of light. Yeah, my brooch has lost its glow. The sea is tainted too. We seem to be right back before the crystals were awakened. Uh. <sighs> and this is where the game gets tedious because like, do it again! This is where we first began. The place we met. But some things are different from back then. Huh? We have grown closer, for one. Do you not agree? Yes. We've been through a lot together. We can do this again if it comes to it. Of course. And Agnes is in the party. <laughs> you blame Ring of Ball, huh? All his fault. There's two of them, after all. I was thinking, Tis. What if this world had been created a mere five minutes ago? What? Crystallis doctrine and scripture, historic temples, the rise and fall of nations, even our memories. All that we believe has come to pass may very well have been created a mere five minutes ago. That thought inevitably creeps into my mind when I see the great chasm before my eyes. That would mean we were created five minutes ago too. Yet we can remember things before that. Yes, but what if the world had been created five minutes ago along with our memories of what has come to pass? Created by who? That I do not know, and yet... When you wake in the morning, is your mind not full of events that were spontaneously created in your dreams? So you're saying that our memories of what transpired were created by someone a few minutes ago? Yes, can you tr say we truly experienced the events in what we believe to be the past? I don't know. But even if the world were created five minutes ago, and even if our memories themselves were created just then, all that I know is we have to close the Great Chasm no matter what. Yes, we must close the Great Chasm. To do that, we must awaken the crystals. Shall we? Yes, let us go. Let's go do it again! It's a shame to you, Ringabell's your favorite character, created by Ringabell. Blaming him for everything now after what you saw 10 minutes ago? But should you be? Hmm. Until you're proven wrong. Alrighty, back to the town we go. Let's get our party together. Let's get everything all sorted out with what the heck we're doing. Let's go. Let's recruit ring a bell. Hey, man. It is no good. No one remembers. Huh? You mean the fire set by the Black Mage? No, not that. I was only in this town a short while, but I met many fine women during my sojourn. These were exciting, passionate encounters. Yet no one seems to remember them. 
Idea would say you had a one-track mind if she heard that. And I would agree with her. Uh, you are right. Let us keep this between us. But is it not strange? They did not merely forget our meeting. They were unaware of my existence. It is as if the whole town is playing a prank on me. I saw the face of that dark knight, Ringabel. He looked like... Yes, I saw it too. I'm not ready to confront that particular matter yet, though. Has any of your memory returned? <clears throat> hey, Ringabel. I've talked with Agnes. We think we might as well just start again from the beginning. Because why not? Start again? Go on another journey to awaken the crystals? The sea is tainted once more. I would like to check on the crystals. Very well, then. Count me in. I'll get to meet all the women of the world again. With a clean slate. Oh, what more could a man want? You're taking this well. Oh, ring a bell. Oh, we have a party chat. <laughs> I suspected as much. This can't be a coincidence, ring a bell. You mean the journal that the Dark Knight Ultras dim dropped? Right, except for some obvious differences in wear and tear, it looks exactly like that D's journal we have. Right, but the similarities don't stop there. The last half is quite different, but the first half it's almost exactly the same. It's as if Alternus's journal supplements the prophecy in D's journal. Are, are they truly so similar? That they are. Even the handwriting and wording are almost a perfect match. So, ring a bell. You're saying D's journal is... is... Well, we can safely assume Alternus's journal was written by Alternus Dim himself. And the portion of D's journal here that resembles it. D's journal... Who could have... Ah. Are you all right, Ringabel? I'll be fine. Just give me a little time to think. Hmm. Damn, indeed. Let's go... Get a Dia back. Uh... Oh, I don't need to heal up. I'm R.A.M. The story will not stop progressing. Yeah, right when you think the game's over. A uh, nope. A uh, nope. Idea. Oh, there you are. It's strange, isn't it? I don't want to believe that everything we've done up to now was just a dream. I went as far as betraying my homeland and my father to follow this path. It was no dream. I remember your struggles. But... Does it not seem that my circumstances here are unique? At first, I thought time had merely been wound back. I don't know whether it's a side effect of the darkness being cleansed, or whether some powerful magic was accidentally triggered, but it doesn't add up. Why am I here with you now? I wouldn't worry about that. You are not the only one for whom things don't make sense. If time had been turned back, there are things that would not add up for me either. I spent close to a week here, Yet, all memory of me has been erased from the women. Uh, the people of the town. Really? Don't think too hard about it now. There are too many unanswered questions. All the more reason for us to start again from scratch, I think. From scratch? Let us make for the Crystal Temple. I see. Okay, I'll do it. I've come this far. I might as well stick around. First, let's go back to the inn and compare notes. What? I don't want to go to the inn. Please, anywhere but there. Please, anywhere but the inn. No. To think of it, when I first came to this land, you were the first one to speak to me, Ringabel. Was I? It seems so long ago. I do recall going over to talk to you after seeing you on the street corner. Yes, that was our very first meeting. With the ring bell who I met when I first set foot on this land. And the ring bell standing before me now. They somehow seem like two different people. 
Two different people? I don't know what to say, but Captain Owen did mention something. What's that? He said things like, let's go boar hunting again sometime, or where have you been these past few days? But when I told him I had no idea what he was talking about, he let out a hearty laugh and said I, laugh and said I was quite the jester. Then I met you at the Great Chasm, Tis. And after that, the Black Mage Ominous Crow put the city to flames and all four of us finally met. Hmm, my memory still fails me. The only thing I can do now is compare Dee's journal to Alternus's. Hmm. So people are recognizing him in this world. Exactly. It's like, well, we've done this and that. Good job. What, think you're done? Psych, you thought. Hey, do all that shit over again. Yay. Fuck <laughs> off, story. Let me, let me have you redo everything. Oh, by the way, Ring of Hell may be evil. But that's just a theory. Anyway, um, it's not as tedious as, like, doing the entire story over again. You can literally just fly to the temples and redo the bosses. But you have to fly to the temples and redo all four of the crystal bosses again. And time for lag. When we go oh to no. Temples, oh boy. You the rite of awakening oh again? boy. Oh boy. Nearest brooch seems to show that the crystals are no longer awakened. A rite must be performed. Do you have your vestal garb? It was safely stored among our belongings. Along with that Bravo key, my goodness. Huh? How do you know about that? Anyway, the existence of these items is more evidence that this is no mere warping of time. We obtained both the Vestal Garb and the Bravo key after going to Anchheim. It doesn't make sense for us to have them now. The clock has not simply been wound back, it seems. Yeah. I'm not gonna do sound effects. What was that? Everyone down. Is it the Great Chasm? Could be the Eternian Sky Knights attacking. It's so slow. To the slow mo. It's Tats. Well, I'll be. What are you doing here, Tats? That's <laughs> so slow. Ah, there you are. This was the right place. Hold up. So you know who we are, Tats? What? Of course I do. What are you talking about? Well, uh, how do I explain? Oh, are Zats and the, tap and the tavern proprietress with you? Yeah, they're both fine. They're on the airship. Airship? Right. We have the echelot all loaded up as well. We found ourselves on the deck all of a sudden, up in the skies east of the kingdom. So, uh, what exactly is going on? This is good news. Let's head for Grandship right away, then. Can we exit the inn? Hey! Look at that. Look at that right now, we're out of the inn. Isn't that great? Isn't that something? Hmm, something bizarre is happening, that's for sure. If I didn't know better, I'd say we were hallucinating. I'm just happy that good old drunken pig and you lot are both fine. It's good to have a woman on our side at a time like this. <laughs> With Dats and Zats here, we can be certain we haven't gone back in time, no? Perhaps time started going backwards for those of us there at the Holy Pillar. In that case, where are our past selves from this point in time? I haven't a clue. No point trying to work this out logically. Let's start by doing what we can. Right, on, yes? We're lucky to have Grandship. It should be a quick flight to the Crystal Temples. Well, let's head to one of the temples and see what is up. Leave the piloting to me. 
tired of talking? No, there's just actual in-game voice acting. So while that's going on, I may as well do that. Beyond 9,999. Have you powered up to the point where you can inflict 9,999 damage on enemies? Yeah, I actually have already. It's the most damage you can do if you're playing normally, but there's a way to go beyond that limit during Bravely Second. You can do, yeah, yeah, I can't even use Bravely Second during the emulator. Anyway, look at all the side quest markers on the map. Now, you may think like, whoa, like all the blue markers have always meant another job. Are there really that many? Nope. It's just rebattles for all the ones you've done before, if you want to challenge everyone again. Now, some people have told me that this half of the game is a lot more fun if you go and do those side quests, but you don't even get anything for doing it, you just rebattled them. So I never did any of that, because why would I do that? You can just go rebattle all the asterisk holders that you've already beaten before, but like, why? Why would you do that? What's the point? What do you get? No, I think we'll repair the Eshelot and keep on using her. What's going on? Well, I was just talking to Dats and Zats about the Eshelot. They had an idea. An idea? About the Eshelot? That's right. We're using her as a sea vessel now. But as you know, the Eshelot was originally an airship. Right. The Sky Stone that allowed her to fly was shattered. Right. I've heard that story before. But she stole an airship. Sure, she can sail the open sea, but not as a real sea vessel. Lucky for us, Grandship has plenty of seaworthy vessels stowed away. You can take your pick. If you want, we can get one of them ready for you to use. That's what we were talking about. Another ship? I don't have any problem with the Eshelot just the way she is. And she's fast enough for our needs. I agree, but above all, we have become quite attached to the Eshelot. Yes, it's where I fought my very first battle after all. And even though I don't recall ever sailing it, I took that to the helm with almost frightening ease. Maybe because Alternus Dim knows a thing or two about flying airships. We had a hard time at first when it attacked us, though. True, but that led me to meeting Tiz and the others. The Eshelot has been like another member of our party ever since. I suppose that settles it. You folks have become attached to the old girl. I don't think anything I could say would change your mind. You could say that again. But we're counting on you to keep the Eshelot ship shape and seaworthy. Of course we will. Just leave it to us. Tell more party chat. Hmm? Where's Ringabel? He's taking a little break. Said something about not feeling well. Really? He didn't just say, leave the piloting to me? Is something the matter, dear? Tats is looking for him. Says the hull's showing wear. We need some materials to make some repairs. I suppose I'll just have to wake him up. Mumble mumble. I don't know. <laughs> Sleeping like a baby. Who knew he was so cute when he sleeps? Back. Mind strike. Mastered. Up to Black Bane. Unleash powerful combo. But even with a thousand lives. Stand ground. Auto Phoenix. Automatic HP recovery after battle. Is there something else? The Grand Marshal. Even that move of his sure would be nice. Enough of this gibberish already. Wake up, Dats is looking for you. Oh, what's the harm in letting him sleep a little longer? Look, doesn't Ringabel look as happy as a pig in the mud? You're right, he does. But yeah, he was saying things that the Grand Marshal might say. Like, those were arts by the like the Dark Knight class. Oh my goodness, we're gonna take forever to get there. We're, let's go do the wind one first, because why not? Even though you can do them in any order, let's go do the wind one. Um, But yeah, so we definitely didn't go back in time. It's definitely not a back in time kind of thing, considering that, like, not a s nobody like recognizes these characters. I guess the innkeep sort of recognized his, but ring a bell when he first appeared with no memories in like the original world there nobody knew who he was he was just a complete stranger to that world like nobody knew who he was in where we originally were but the moment he went to this world all of a sudden there were some people that knew him like there was owen who was like oh we should go boar hunting again so people in this world know ring a bell and there was somebody else in the original world that looked exactly like ring a bell so, like, what could be happening? Do we need a heal? Nah. Okay, I've just been lurking, rethinking what's going on right now. It's some heavy stuff, isn't it? 
Anyway, I think... I think we can beat the game right now. I may try to do that and then call the stream. I don't know if we're ready for this. It only gets worse from here on in. Yeah, yeah, I know. Maybe... Maybe for the sake of this, I should actually switch Adia up to what she's strongest in. Maybe I'll try Black Knight on someone later. But I know you're strongest in Valkyrie. It really is. He's crazy. Okay. Um. No, I don't really need to restore MP on her anyway. Um. In that case. What did I have as a secondary again? I had. Dark Arts and Holy Arts. Neat. And piracy. Let's do that. First of all, I don't know if we're ready for like this boss refight because they do get tougher. Look! <laughs> Look! The crystal has reverted to its pre-awakened state. Do you know the cause of this, Ari? But yeah, there's no way I'm doing all the side quests. That sounds stupid. So I knew it this too. But you are That's completely baby, awful. Right? That doesn't mean I know everything. Really? Should we perform the Rite of Awakening? I think so. Yeah, still four on the wings there. It went from five to four. Arthros, the bringer of doom. Oh no! So the creature is back as well. We just have to defeat them again. Yeah, defeat it again. Are we ready for this? I don't know if we are. I don't know if we're ready for this, considering the fight is tougher now. To, like accommodate for our new strength <laughs> maybe we're fine maybe we're actually a-okay as long as he keeps doing stuff like this should be no biggie hopefully what that's the wrong button sorry let's just see here we're gonna try to beat the game here there's one potential way to beat the game right now I think and we're gonna try it once we get the chance. Let's examine them both. Cool. Yeah, they each have 50k health now, so 100k total. Yeah, so one's weak to water and the other's weak to fire. Uh-oh! I was kind of hoping that Agnes would heal first, but then she didn't. Good to keep in mind, that thing's faster than I am. Join are we attacking first? Let's attack the one for fire first. Is what we'll do. Why ever not? Well, oops. Not like it matters. Anyas is a freaking healing machine. <laughs> oh yeah, Anyas is immune to fire and ice because of her shield. So like all of their elemental stuff is gonna do zero damage against her. Not bad. Definitely not. Whoops, I don't even need to use Cure, I can just use regular Cure. Because that's more than enough. Okay, now that Adia's a Valkyrie again, she should- Oh, nice! She should be doing massive damage with her high jump again, in theory. Crazy. Okay, let's lower physical defense first before doing high jump. Yeah, that stuff doesn't even do anything against uh, Yes. So that's pretty cool. Let's give this a shot now. Let's do a high jump and see how much damage it does. Ah, never mind. Never mind then. So much for that. That thing's fast. It's a high. I don't know what the stat is, but I'll just say speed stat. Well. Well, let's see how this goes. And we're also going to do that and that. Yeah, ring a bell's very fast. Restore some health like that, just in case. <laughs> nice. Get everyone all healed up real quick. Nice. That damage dispersion is so nice. Goes from dealing a lot of damage on one person to Dealing a very little damage on everyone at once. Okay, almost halfway on the one. Physical defense is still down. I don't know how much longer that's gonna last. I don't know if it'll last past the high jump. <laughs> that counter is so good. I love it. Yeah, it didn't last. That's a shame. 
What a shame there. Let's hope it Dia attacks before Anya heals. 7,000. Yeah, that's probably going to do 9,999 if the physical defense is down, I imagine. I feel like is probably a good guess. Hmm. Interesting dog creature thing. Yeah, we we fought this before since this is the first crystal boss, but it was like a long time ago. It was sometime long last year. Well, not like super long last year. We started this in September, so estimated guess would say maybe we fought it in October or something. It's, it's January right now, so it's been kind of crazy. Let's raise magical defense is what we'll do. Since we're just kind of messing around right now. Yeah, so that was quite a while back. I must say. Yeah, a long time. Oh my goodness, weird lag spike. It's been a long time that we've been playing this game, but we might be able to beat it here and now. At least in one way. Potentially. I think, if memory serves, we may be able to. Let's try mugging. It's mug orthros is what we're gonna do. Let's see what happens. I couldn't steal anything. That's a shame, isn't it? Root? Aw, oh, dang it. <laughs> Todd goes when you need him. Yeah, the person who originally made me play this game. Yeah, that one's gonna go down soon. Well, that's a shame, isn't it? This build I have on Anya's where she has like double the skills that make healing crazy. My goodness, her healing effects are wild. Her healing effects are absolutely nasty. I love it. It is great. Root. Nice. Oh, looks like Tiz lost the element on his weapon. Oh, there goes one. Isn't that something? Now, just for the other. One should be easier to deal with. Right? Unless it gets tougher for some weird reason. Okay, so that one's weak to water. So in that case, let's go ahead and put that on Tiz's weapon. And we can also, like, do that since there's only one target anyway. And then bada bing, bada boom. I don't know. Sure, another shell. Cool. Oh, that is a decent bit of Braves. Oh. Ah. Okay, Phoebe didn't kill anyone with that. And now he's like open for a while. Not doing as much damage as I was to the other dude. Definitely not. Bada bing bada boom. Uh. No. Let's lower physical defense real quick. Just like that, physical defense is down. I'll just keep using shell otherwise. Wait, Adi is jumping, so like... There's no point using it on Anya, she's immune to water and fire. Screw it. <laughs> In that case. Okay, because of the physical defense down, Godspeed Strike and High Jump should be hitting pretty decently hard. That's alright. That's pretty alrighty. Sure, more protects. Because <laughs> I don't know what else to be doing right now. That didn't seem to be much of a difference compared to like when magic defense wasn't down. To me. Is how it seemed for a hot second. Hmm. Ty's Braven again. Please don't. Oh, those physical attacks do like nothing. <laughs> yes, keep attacking Tiz, please. Please do. Oh my goodness, that crit though. Okay, now we're doing more damage with the physical defense down. For sure. Nah. I'll wait on the physical defense down until the next turn. Why ever not? Sure, more shells for everyone. Everybody gets a shell. Lower physical defense, real quick. 
physical defense down. I don't know, man. I feel like we've got this in the bag. I feel like this is easy peasy. No problemo. Don't even worry about it. Okay, now with physical defense down, everyone's gonna be doing some massive damage to this guy. Except for Anyas, because Anyas can't attack pretty much at all. She just kind of heals endlessly for massive amounts of health. Rude. Oh, that crit though. So rude. Oh, we're getting close. Oh no, please don't kill him right now. I want Ring and Bell to get experience too. No, it is a crit! No! <laughs> Ring and Bell's dead now. He doesn't get any experience from that battle. He's stuck at level 57 while everyone else is either at level 59 or about to be level 59. <laughs> Why did this have to happen, Ring of Bell? How could this happen to you? That was rough. Remember that being as hard last time. Uh, I thought the same. Hurry up and awaken the crystal before we are beset by more beasts. Of course. So. I'm ready, Eri. I know you've done this four times already, but do you have any questions? Skip the explanation. Time to get started, Agnes. Are you ready? Yes. Let us begin. All right, so I think it might have been said earlier in the game. I know it's definitely said later, but I'm pretty sure it was briefly said earlier in the game. I don't remember where. I mean, don't quote me on that. But Aerie tells you that if you like keep praying to the crystal after she tells you to stop, you can in theory break the crystal and destroy it. And I believe there's like a talk where it's like what happens if you do that and Aerie's like oh it would mean like absolute disaster for the world if one of those crystals is broken and I believe that there's somebody that you talk to somewhere in the game where it's like things would be kind of a little bit out of whack for a little while but a crystal that's destroyed like that would eventually regrow like it wouldn't be destroyed forever so destroying a crystal doesn't exactly bring ruin to the world and with that idea in mind that we're gonna do what we're about to do and live up to the best name of best expressor in the world. Is what we better do. Here we go. Save the world. That's what we're gonna try to do. Just a little longer. Just a wee bit longer. Yeah, I'm gonna smash this X button. Don't you worry about it. I'll smash it real good. At least I think we're at a point in the game where we can do this. I know we couldn't earlier when I tried to. Like for the very first crystal, I think. Oh my goodness, I have to mash this. Here we go. Come on. Can we not yet? Oh, come on. I literally looked this up during one of the cutscenes that we had earlier. I looked it up on my phone and it said you could do it from chapter five onwards. Like, we can't yet. Why? They said anywhere from chapter five to eight, you can do this. But it's not letting me. I remember the first time I played through, I had like the same problem, but... <laughs> what the heck? Um... Well, guess we're not beating the game right now. What the heck? What are the prerequisites? I literally looked this up earlier. Have you checked your bro, Jerry? Yes, the wind crest is lit. Phew. Good. Are you okay, Anyas? 
Yes, I am used to it now. I need a short rest, but then we should head to the next temple. Okay. Yeah, it literally says chapters 5 to 8. What? Really? I chapters 5 to 8. This is chapter 5 right now. Like every site that I'm looking at is saying this. Um Let's see here. This one doesn't say it lied to you got got. I guess so. I guess that's what happens. Um Yeah. It It doesn't let me break the crystal! <laughs> Come on! What the heck? I don't understand. What the heck? Every site says chapters 5 to 8. Yes, maybe we'll try in chapter six. Hmm. This world, it's its different from the previous one, but in subtle ways. Yes, it is not simply a matter of going back in time or a lapse in memory. It's the same world, and yet it's different. Events in this world are happening just a bit differently than what we've seen. The ladies here are different too. That suits me fine, keeps things fresh and excited. But your personality hasn't changed too. This world does differ ever so slightly from the last one. Why do you suppose the great chasm is in the exact same place? Why does an Orende village have to be swallowed up every time? Now that you mention it, it is strange. I know, maybe someone or something is out to get you, Tiz. Please, Atia, don't make me out to be more than I am. Perhaps Mirende Village holds some secret we have yet to fathom. Who knows, but I have a feeling you're not far off the mark. So the opening of the Great Chasm is inevitable? Seems like. Yeah, I remember I had the same problem the first time I played through this game. I tried to do that chapter 5 and it wouldn't let me. Maybe we'll reach a certain point in this story where it's like, Oh, now I know for sure we can do that. Now there's three icons left on the map. I'll do those later. <laughs> Let's go save in like Ant Chime for now or something. Is what we'll go do. So we'll probably get to like chapter six or something and then. And then get one way to end it. The one way I was trying to end it is known as like. The, whoa, lag. Why is this lagging in the game? Oh my goodness. Anyway, what I was trying to do was trying to trigger something that's called the bad ending. And it's by pushing through like all the like regular story stuff without trying to deviate from it that you get the so-called true ending. But yeah, so we have like that wind crystal thing on the brooch lit up again. It might be asleep by then. I'm calling the stream here. I got lots of stats to do. <laughs> okay, this makes you super tired. Feels bad. But yeah, so thanks everybody so much for stopping by and hanging out. I appreciate it as always. And yeah, so until next time then, I'm out of here. Who knows what the next part will be. We'll figure it 